I think we're actually okay with a predator in a herbivore cage. Oh! Oh no! How's it going guys? Dre here and welcome back to our playthrough for Jurassic World Evolution. Now we're on the second world now. We've had one episode here, or was it two? I honestly don't remember, but uh, yeah, we just started here and uh, we got a few herbivores. Now today, hopefully we can get into the carnivore cage, which I'm going to be using this one over here for carnivores. Hopefully these guys don't want to fight each other because there's a really light fence in between them, but well, technically two. Uh, and hopefully they don't get too excited. As you can see though, already we have a pretty big population going on. Where are you guys going? Is there anything? Oh, this is the entrance up here. That's right, I thought I was on the right for some reason. All right, but I guess we shouldn't waste any time and our expedition is coming back. So we're gonna be doing a lot of this in this playthrough, guys. Unfortunately, at least in my opinion, a lot of this game has to do with the expeditions. It's really cool when you do it once or twice. It gets a little repetitive after a while though, but uh, we do need the Dilophosaurus, I believe. Uh, we need Velociraptor and Ankylosaurus for this mission. So I think we're just gonna go right to the Dilophosaurus and start uh, extracting that G Genome. So we can get that today, hopefully, at least. And uh, let's go check out our fossils as well. See what we got going on in this adventure. Ooh, look at that. Uh, we might actually be able to get a Velociraptor here because that was some amber, and that's the good stuff. Uh, we can also sell this stuff for a decent amount of money. There we go. And I guess, well, what we have to do right now is increase the island rating. Now, how do we do that? With dinosaurs. So let's start getting into the incubation here. We got almost a million in the bank, so we can probably do a decent guy now. The Ceratosaurus is going to take the majority of our money, but I think he's going to be worth it because I don't think we're going to get another mediator anytime soon. So let's start incubating that guy and get him down. Also, we wanted the Ankylosaurus, which we do not have enough money just yet, and I don't want to, you know, cut it too close because anything can happen. And now that we're on the second world, we do have to worry about weather and things like that. So you always want to keep, you know, a safety zone with your money. So we're just going to kind of hang out right now and enjoy the park. All right, we also got a new toy shop that we can check out. That's something we earned last time. That's going to cost me 150000 I kind of want to make one, though, because they're kind of cool. And my plan is, assuming this terrain's okay over here. Oh, of course it's not. Uh, I was going to start building all the way down this perfect walkway here. But, of course, we got terrain constraints. Now, hopefully, one day they allow you to, to maybe, like, terraform this terrain. You can kind of do it with the water. I've been able to do it before. Oh, it actually doesn't even let me build water here. It is such a hilly area. Yeah, I'm getting terrain constraints for building water. That has never happened to me, so that's weird. But let's go back to the toy shop. It looks like it should fit here. I guess we could build it off in the distance here a little bit. We're going to need to get power up here, but I do want to utilize my space. We don't want to, uh, you know, spread these things out too much. So we're going to put a toy shop right at the entrance so everybody sees it. My logic is that's going to get the most customers, I hope at least. I think that's how it works. So we'll start with a toy shop. Probably should have started with something like snacks and whatnot, but we'll see how much profits go there. And we're also going to need a substation. Uh, well, we need a substation all around here. God damn. Okay, so we're going to have to put it. This will actually be good down here. There we go. Bam. Connected. Oh, never mind. It's obstructed. That's because we're right on top of the damn telephone line. So I can't go in between it. So this is going to kind of look weird. But if we do that, will it work? Yes, it will. Now, like I said, I want to get the Ankylosaurus out. Now that we got some money in the bank, let's start incubating, incubating one of these guys. And let's also go to the map, make sure all my dinosaurs are happy and content. And it looks like everybody's actually really happy right now. We don't have too many dinosaurs to worry about, so that's kind of nice. And my storm defense system is tracking an incoming tropical storm. So this is going to be our first major storm, aside from the one that we were introduced with when we joined this island. So we're going to have to prepare for that. Not that I can really do too much, but uh, usually I'll get my jeeps out and whatnot. Thankfully, we're, we're nice and close. We should be okay. We just have to worry about, you know, the really bad weather. And I wonder if I should wait to release this guy because stuff could get very bad here. So let's wait for this storm. Here it is. Uh, well, I don't see it yet, but it's coming. Trust me, it will be here. Here comes the rain, and next up is the storm. Now, tropical storm, I, the, I forget the, um, it goes tropical storm to hurricane, right? Structure already damaged, viewing gallery. Okay, so 
We did get a little bit of damage here. How how did rain damage it that much? Come on now. The, the benefit being I can still use my ranger team, so we're just going to tell them to repair that and try and keep up with anything else that may happen. So it looks like this storm's stopping. I'm gonna let out the Ceratosaurus now. Now, I kinda wanna see how this guy reacts to that wall over there, cause he can see the herbivores. So I, I wanna see if this maybe angers him or something. That actually reminds me, we're gonna need some food for this guy, right? I don't think I set that up, and no, I did not. We only got 160,000, so ooh. That's a little scary. We should get there really, really quickly though, and that storm thankfully didn't da damage us that much. Reach an income of 100,000 per minute? I don't even think I'm close to that. Let's go see. Yeah, we're at 41,000 per minute. So sometimes they'll give you quests that you really shouldn't have this early into the game. And it looks like that's what I got right there. Now I'm waiting for 200,000 to make this guy his thing. Uh, we got the Ankylosaurus that can come out though. What? Is this damage again? Why, why didn't you warn me about the damage over here at the Hammond Creation Center? All right, well, it's a good thing I noticed that. That was kind of weird, but uh, do we have? Yes, we have 214 now, so let's go to enclosures. And what do we want? Well, I can't afford the carnivore feeder, so I guess this guy's gonna have to eat the live bait. The poor, poor goats in this game. Now you can see his comfort's going down, so let's see what he's having problems with. Okay, so there's not enough grassland here, so let's help him out. Make sure he's a happy camper, because happy dinosaurs are good dinosaurs. And we're gonna add some grasslands to this. Uh, which we probably should have done in, in preparation. Usually these guys really love grasslands. And how's he thinking now? Well, give him a little bit. He'll have to walk around. It usually takes a little while for that to update. We'll see what he thinks later. We might have to expand this out a little bit. They are rather small cages. Oh, did he just eat? Yeah, okay. <laughs> so that poor goat, at least he ate. Now is he... Okay, still it says there's not enough grassland. Should I get rid of... Well, I don't want to get rid of all the trees... I think once he starts walking around, his comfort should go up, but we, we're getting a little bit risky here. His comfort's still dropping, as you can see, and when it gets into the red zone, he can do some crazy things, and uh, I do not want that to happen this early into the game, but if it does, it does. Let's release that Ankylosaurus, because we need that guy. Man, I'm earning 100000 a minute. That's not bad. I'm not going to complain with that. We're earning good money here, and I don't even have too much set up. Now, let's go check out this toy shop. See if anybody's actually using it. Yeah, we, we got kids going in there and leaving. Uh, so that's not kids. I thought that, that was kids. I don't think there's actually kids in this game, guys. So maybe making a toy shop wasn't that good of an idea. Let's actually see. Running cost is six. Uh, profit per minute is six dollars right now. So I can actually, um, I can change what I want to sell. But usually these higher things, yeah, you can see I'm going to actually lose money. Uh, if we had a higher population park, Maybe we could uh, earn some money doing those, but for right now, we're going to sell dino stickers. Yes, a whole store for dino stickers. We'll also, let's uh, up our profit margin to $6, so uh, a profit margin of 200%. That sounds good to me, and now we're going to earn 12 per minute, assuming we get the same amount of population going there buying stickers. All right, I'm still worried about this guy here. He is, oh man, he is not happy at all. That It's just out of his range, so I feel like... Maybe if I do get rid of some of these trees before he flips out, uh, that might be smart. We can always add more later on. Does he need any trees? You know what? We're probably going to have to add some trees, too. I think we should probably just expand out this cage. Uh-oh. Disease contra contracted. Okay, so we have to research the cure. Do we even have a research station yet? Oh, this is risky because I don't have too much money either. I don't think I put down a research station, which I really should have. Uh, that's... Something I overlooked. My bad. And, of course, uh, it's going to take 400000 for that, so we're actually pretty close right now. Let's go to view my fossils. I didn't realize these guys got back. Do I want to sell these? No. Let's go out for another expedition, though. I want to make sure we're doing these expeditions. They're the most important part because we can profit in doing them. And when we get that big 400000 we're going to have to put down that research station as quickly as possible because this could spread. What does he have? He has Bracken Poisoning. I have no idea if that's dangerous, but uh, we're gonna have to fix that as quickly as possible. Okay, now his grassland he's happy with, and his forest he's not. So as you can see, it's a fine line here, man. He just he just wants a little bit of forest. That was a lot of forest, actually. So hopefully, now that you're in a forest, are you happy? Are you happy, good sir? Oh, now his grassland, look at this. It's like so close. I think I need to actually expand out his cage because I think his cage is too small. That's the major issue here. So what I might do is just kind of round this out a little bit and uh, add a little bit to his cage. So let's do that. How much does it cost for the cheap fences? Because uh, all we have is light steel fence. 
Last thing I want is this guy to break out of this because it's going to take him one good hit. Right All right, so carnivores, they need more space because they'll do bad things if they don't have it. So there we go. We're just going to do that. And I guess we can just get rid of this all whole wall now. And he should hopefully be happy now. I think that's a good mixture. Let's just add just in case a little bit more grasslands over here. And oh, disease. Okay, we're getting more disease stuff. I know how diseases work. Please, no, don't you do this. Oh, come on. You're good now. Look it. Your comfort's going up. Stop hitting it. Stop hitting it, Ceratosaurus. God damn it. Oh, man. Two hits? Are you freaking serious? Ranger team, we, we, we have a problem here. I need to repair that fence. I need to get my ACU helicopter out. And I need to get this guy down because he's going to eat some people. Oh, dude. Dude, run. Dude, why do you got to do the damn trip thing? Oh, dude. You were out for one second and you've already eaten a human. Well, now you've eaten a human. That's great. Now, now we got fines on our hands. And it, that's our first death in the park. Oh, I didn't want that to happen. ACU is now here, as you can see, but it's too little too late. Maybe we can save one of these guys. Are you serious? Come on. You, you can't let this guy eat two. You cannot let this guy eat two. Uh, it's it's going to happen, isn't it? Come on. Knock him out. Oh, you idiots. <laughs> Damn it. I knew those fences were not a good idea. I should have waited for upgraded fences. And there he goes. Damn it. All right, so we're gonna have to transport him back. Benefit being, his comfort's going up now, so I don't Asset think he's gonna to try and escape. Hopefully. <laughs> so what I'm going to do now is take out my ACU and tell them to tranquilize this guy and the guy laying on the ground that's really sick, clearly. That's sad. Uh, and then hopefully this will not spread. But it's a little bit scary. Oh, damn it. And the other one just got it. It's spreading to everybody, guys. This is, this is really bad. Uh, I'm gonna try and keep these guys spread out. Yeah, we're actually losing money now as you can- Well, no, we're not. Why am I down to 200,000? What, what, I guess building that fence added a lot of cost, maybe? I have no idea, but we're gonna need to- I think I should probably sell this and buy the research center. I know it takes a long time to get this stuff, and it sucks, but I need some money right now, and we're in a pinch. So, there we go. 555,000. Let's get the research station down. Cannot flatten terrain constraints. There we go. Right beside the other one. That's perfect, actually. And we still have 170,000 to spare. So there we go. Get that up so we can research that as quickly as possible. Problem being, research costs money, too. So hopefully we can... Uh, let's actually send out the guys. Maybe we'll get some. I'll get lucky and get some decent fossils that we can sell. Uh, we're going to go back to the Dilophosaurus because we didn't get anything off of that. And, oh, I need, I need to do this quick, man. All right, unfortunately, one of my guy's health is down to 5%, so I'm going to get the ranger team to try and heal him. Uh, so we don't lose him. We got this guy down as well. Requires bracken poisoning to medicate. Uh, let's transfer this guy. And then hopefully we can heal this other guy. Oh, he's at zero. I think I think we just lost our first freaking dinosaur. Damn it to disease. Damn it. It happened. Oh, oh that really sucks. Okay, well, there goes our first dinosaur guy. His disease struck. And I could not address it quickly enough. I feel really bad. This guy's freaking out now. Let's actually get him healed. So at least we can heal the guys and uh, I'll stop them from dying. I really should have saved that guy. I could have, but I would have had the chance. Like to Use the secure. expedition center to unearth un 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 a carnivore fossil. Yes, please. All right, so that's going better now. We, are, we have 104,000 in the bank. This is where it's going to get rough, guys, because we need to get this research done as quickly as possible. Bracken poisoning. Bracken poisoning. Um, okay, so it's this one. Oh, it's only 75,000. That's so much cheaper than I thought it was going to be. Thank God. We're still going to have to wait. How long was that? Uh, less than a minute. Okay, this might, this might go well. We might have saved the day here, guys. Got a little bit scared there. All right, Bracken poisoning is done. I'm just going to go on my expedition here and get some more money in the bank. I think we're okay now, guys. We dodged a bullet there. Let's get my ranger team out and, um... We are going to medicate, medicate, and I think we're transferring the other one. Oh, that one's still in the middle. Oh, crap. All right, well, these guys are about to be transferred, so hopefully we can medicate in time. I'm actually going to cancel this, and we're just going to medicate this guy right here. I will save you, good buddy. It's okay. There we go. Please wake up. Come on, buddy. I have no... Okay, I think he's maxed out, so let's get back. And I don't even know if I can medicate them. Well, it looks like his disease is gone, so I think we're okay. We're just going to go to the dart rifle here and 
There we go. I'm medicating. Don't worry about it, lady. I got this thing. Medication is successful, and he's back to full health. And let's see if we can do some long shots here. Come on, buddy. I'm just here to save your ass. Oh, that was way too far. Jesus. There you go. Right in the buttocks. And you're good, too. Let's see if we can go for the long range. Not my Ankylosaurus. Come on, buddy. Come on. Let's see if we can shoot him. I think I'm shooting too far, aren't I? There we go. Long range shots. That's always fun. Hard to see him now. Let's see if we can get a lucky shot in there. No, I don't think so. Let's go and save his life. Oh, never mind. It actually did hit him. Okay, so no sources of bracken poisoning remain in the park. So now we know, though, uh, we might want to research those medications quickly because when disease comes, man, it really comes. All right, so let's move these guys back. Everything is saved. Let's go to the fossils as well and see what we got. Sell. Uh, looks like we can make the Dilophosaurus now, but like I said, I want to get his his uh, genome a little bit higher. So we're going to go out for a couple more expeditions, see if we can get lucky and get a five star, uh, because that's what I really want. All right, so let's focus on starting to research. We have lots of things we can research here, as you can see. Uh, the thing I want most is enclosures and medical treatments. So we're going to start with the medical treatments. Last thing I want is to run into the issue again. Uh, looks like we can only research one at a time, but these things are quite cheap. Uh, between 75 and 125,000, it looks like. So, yeah, we're going to do those as quickly as possible. All right, my Triceratops has been running around a bit. I want to see how his comfort is. Okay, so, yeah, he did lose his friend, and I think that's what he needs. His comfort is down, or was down a little bit. So, yeah, we're going to get a Triceratops in here. And I kind of want to see how the Ankylosaurus is as well. I don't know if they... Oh, it's too expensive. Uh, what are we at? 173. But I also want to see my Ankylosaurus. His is... What was 90? Oh, it was health. Okay, so yeah, they did, They were just damaged a little bit from the disease. But the Triceratops is a little bit lonely, so I don't want to run the risk if I don't need to. We're going to have to get him a friend uh, as quickly as possible. All right, and we actually completed the Dilophosaurus site. So uh, I guess now we're going to go back to the Velociraptor uh, and start doing some more of that because I want to get that guy down as well, obviously. Uh, and then we're going to be able to do this full quest. So that's the goal. Velociraptor, I don't know how far away we are from it. Let's actually see. So we're, yeah, we're at 40%. That's right. Now for the Dilophosaurus, I'm kind of in a predicament here. I think if I put him in the Ceratosaurus cage, he'll get eaten. He's a small predator. Now we don't have any small herbivores though. So I think he'll be okay. As crazy as it sounds in this cage. The only one I'm worried about is these guys. Because they are a little bit smaller than the rest. And they don't have any defenses like the others do. Uh, the Dilophosaurus might pick at them. And that could end very badly. But I'm willing to take the risk. So we're going to try this guy once we get a little bit more money. We also need to do the Triceratops. So I got to do that guy first. Because I said I would do that. And uh, keep my Triceratops buddy happy. Then once we get some more money, we're going to put a Dilophosaurus in the herbivore cage. We'll see what happens. This is kind of like an experiment. Let's also start getting some more contracts. I noticed my, um, is that entertainment? Wh whatever the green one is, is getting quite low. Oh, the science division. And I want to make sure they're happy. So they actually want fast food. That's perfect because I wanted to add some more of that stuff to my park. So once we get some money... We will be doing that as well. Got to keep it's these guys happy. The it's important. And good old Tracy is ready to get out. So there we go. We got a Triceratops. What are we at? 293. I think the Dilophosaurus took like 400, if I'm correct. So yeah, 414. So I'm actually going to put out the um, fast food stand because we'll actually get the money back in doing so or pretty much close to. So that should be that, that quest done. Let's actually get another one because we should have room for another one. And I think we'll also go science division. All right. Hope prevent any power out no outages for 10 awesome. minutes. Sounds simple enough. Hopefully there's no storms coming. Okay. And looking at this, I thought it just automatically went up in terms of profit. But it actually does kind of calculate the amount of profit you get for everything. You can see I'm going down now. So you really got to check this often and see what your best profit cost is. Obviously, it gets too expensive to the point where nobody's going to buy it. But somebody is dumb enough to spot, spend $22 on a sticker. Uh, I think the highest was like $24.25. Uh, 26, 27. Ooh, okay, 27. Uh, this is obviously pennies, but if you set up every store, you're going to earn a lot of money. So we're going to sell for 13. That looks to be the highest profit. And we're going to get this store a little bit of time to buffer, and then we're going to do the same thing here. But the, the fast food store is up. Fossils are back. What do we got? Sell. 
Sail, always nice to have those. And we're getting close to the Velociraptor, as you can see. All right, now we also got some money in the bank, so let's do our test here. This could end badly, guys. I'm fully warning you ahead of time. I've never tried this, but I do know small carnivores do not sometimes sometimes attack big herbivores. So I, I would love to keep these guys together. If we could have like a school of small carnivores in our giant herbivore cage, that would be amazing to me. But unfortunately, the big guys, you got to keep them on their own. There we go. We could actually make the Velociraptor now. Now, I know the Velociraptor will take these guys down, but I don't think the Dilophosaurus does attacks like the Velociraptor. Sometimes the Velociraptor will just jump on these guys and take them down. So we have to keep them with the carnivores, I think. All right, and let's actually start selling some more dino bites. So, uh, yeah, we're going to have to see what we can profit here. I think I saw 30 there, 37. Uh, I think I even saw 40. All right, there we go. Talk about some crazy profits here. And people are really willing to spend a crazy amount on food, aren't they? Jesus. Okay, so let's go back. Doesn't have to be perfect. I think 42 is officially the highest, though. So we're going to sell Dino Bites for 23 freaking dollars. Now, I don't know. Does this change? Uh, oh, it actually ups the amount of gas. Oh, this is cool. Okay, so actually, let me see now what we can get this to with the amount of gas. Running cost is $1 for that much management staff. I don't understand. But yeah, obviously you can get into detail with this thing and it's pretty damn cool. Let's do 46 at 26 and you can also food, uh, management view, drink, fun, and attract attraction finances. Oh, okay. So this is to actually, I'm an idiot. This is to view uh, different overlays, which I don't do much, but there we go. It looks like our profit per minute is going to be $46. And this is what I'm most excited about, because I want to see what the hell happens here. Again, the big part of this game is about experimentation, and we'll see if this guy... <laughs> oh, he's so small. I can only assume he's not going to do anything, but, I mean, he's a predator. He might have some confidence here. He obviously has some confidence. I mean, look at him. So, oh, God. Oh, he's running already. He's running. Okay, we're going to need food for this guy. No! Don't, don't do it. Don't do it. The one I'm worried about is this guy, but, I mean, the size of this guy. These guys are freaking out, though. I didn't even think about that. Uh, these guys are not going to like having a predator in their cage. What was I thinking? Uh, I, we're still going to do it anyways, because it looks like he's okay. His comfort is going down. He doesn't have enough forest. Okay, well, let's try and keep everybody happy here. It's a fine line. Let's add a little bit of forest. There you go, buddy. And we'll drop this down to even smaller and add some more forest there for you. So there you go. Keep this view good so we get lots of people in the viewing platform. And I just got to make sure this guy... Oh, 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 oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, he's spitting at him. Oh, are you serious? I didn't expect this. Okay. Um, Are these guys going to fight, though? I think he's just kind of warning them. This is going to make... Everybody freak out in this place, though, if he's keeping spitting in people's eyes. So, I know the Ceratosaurus will freaking eat him, though, so what do I do? This is why you shouldn't enclose dinosaurs. There's there's too much problems here, but uh, looks like his health and comfort is up. We might need to expand out the cage again like we did with the other one. I will say that increase the viewing platform, though. We got 200 guests in there. That's the most I've seen in the herbivore enclosure. What do we got over here as comparison? 25 for a freaking Ceratosaurus. So you can kind of understand the difference here. Mind you, the Ceratosaurus is hiding. Usually they'll start to go over there when he's out. Where the hell is he actually? Oh, he's just chilling in the bush. He seems to be happy with his, his placements though. Just making sure everybody's happy over here. I really got to watch these guys. Um, the the, the Corythosauruses do panic, but it doesn't drop their comfort down. They just run away from it. So I think we're okay. I think we're actually okay with a predator in a herbivore cage. Oh! Oh, no! <laughs> I just went over to look at him, and I accidentally clicked the Coryothosaurus, and he's dead. Okay, I think I think we officially have an issue here. I'm going to have to figure out what the hell I want to do. Well, first of all, let's sedate this guy, because we just lost another freaking <laughs> herbivore today. Oh, I feel so bad. I'm so sorry, herbivores, but I wanted to test it, and the test did not go well. Now, this guy's an entertainment objective, so we have to keep him alive unless we want to restart and have to rehatch all these guys. So, uh, do I want to risk putting him in the Ceratosaurus cage to see what happens? I can almost guarantee if he doesn't stay hiding, the Ceratosaurus will eat him. 
I can always get rid of the, of the Ceratosaurus. We don't need him for the objective, but I would feel really bad about that. So let's just test this. We can always hatch another one, I guess. We're going to throw him in the Ceratosaurus cage. That way, we also have the goat feeder here. Let's actually add the other feeder because the goat's only going to feed one dinosaur, obviously, actively. So we'll put a carnivore feeder in here as well since we're going to add more carnivores anyways. All right, so I was worried about my herbivores. Now I'm worried about this little guy. I mean, you really you really don't need a helicopter to transport this guy, guys. You can throw him in the back of the Jeep. We're good. I'm, he's not really that big. Oh, look at that. The power contract is done. Oh, we got a reward for doing that as well. Hatchery capacity upgrade. That's awesome. Now let's actually... I don't know how hard this quest is going to be, so I'm going to incubate one Velociraptor. I would never do this if I wasn't doing a quest, because Velociraptors are social creatures, and you need more than one. But if I can complete this quest quickly, that would be great, and also increase our guest count to 900 total guests. What do we got right now? 775. That actually shouldn't take too long, so I think we'll be okay with that. And I just want to see what we have to do with this mission. If we can do the whole thing today, that would be great. Oh, uh, great. You're dropping them right by the Ceratosaurus. Look at this guy. He's actually watching the damn thing, waiting for this guy to come down. <laughs> He's like, what's going on up there? You guys dropping a dinosaur for me to eat? Hopefully not, dude. Hopefully not. All right, what, 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 what's this thinking right now? He's already panicking. Uh, I think he's he's panicking about the helicopter, though, and into the woods he goes. I love that you cannot track these dinosaurs in the woods. Now, this guy, he's starting to run, which is kind of scaring me, but... I have no idea where the Dilophosaurus is. That's why we go to the map here, and I just want to see how he is. Is he okay? Comfort's 100%. He's happy with the enclosure. Population is good. Social's okay. He could use for a friend, but he doesn't need one. And food and water seems to be okay. So, so far, he's okay. As long as he can stay in cover and away from that Ceratosaurus's mouth, he should be okay. And this is going to get weird because we also got a goat in here. The Ceratosaurus is going for it. Oh, oh God, that scared me. I thought he was going to stomp on him or something. What the hell? Okay, well, the, well, the uh, Didilophosaurus isn't going to get that goat, but that's totally fine. Oh, did you see that jump? Oh, I don't know if you guys saw that, but he actually did get it. It must have came out of the, uh, the wilderness and the Ceratosaurus couldn't find it. And look at that, the Dilophosaurus taking advantage of the bigger dinosaurs. Uh, well, I don't know what he's doing over here, but uh, he's yelling at the forest and getting himself a meal. Now, what are you doing now? Don't walk over towards him, you idiot. Oh, God. Uh-oh. Oh, no. This is not good. I'm not going to be able to intervene quickly enough. Um. Oh, don't spit at him. Just run. You're faster than him. Oh, this is going to end very badly. All right, let's go to this guy. And let's see what happens here. I'm kind of curious because they're not attacking each other. Yes! Run! Run, little guy! <laughs> oh, that made me feel better. And this guy's like, what the hell, man? I just wanted to play. Okay, so I don't know if they're going to eat each other one day, but that fight, it ended perfectly. They didn't hit each other, got a little spit in the face, and said, screw that. I don't want to screw with that guy. I'd rather eat a goat. All right, and look who's ready to join the party. Now, I know the Dilophosaurus and this guy are great fighters against each other, so hopefully we can do this quickly. Oh, it looks like we got two, 900 visitor count, too, so that's good. So, basically, I'm just trying to do the quest right now. I hope these guys don't fight each other right away. So, here we go. Come on, little guy. What's up? You're, you're not going to have any friends to attack things with, but hopefully you guys will stay friends for long enough to finish up this quest. I don't even know what this quest is going to do. So we have to get a guest count of... Oh, damn it! Are you serious? Guys, guys, guys. No, don't, 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 don't do this. We need... We just need a thousand guests. That's all we... Oh, you guys. So, someone's going to die here. Somebody's definitely going to die. Okay, I'm going to try and get these guys over here, but I doubt that's going to happen. This guy's going to go down. Maybe they'll run away from each other, though. This should get my guest count up, though. Oh, they actually dropped. Great. The moment I said that, it freaking dropped. How many people are watching this? 137. That's better than the 20 there was in there before. All right. Hopefully, my ACU can deal with this quicker than these guys can eat each other because we need this, this guy down. There you go. Stop fighting each other. Yes. Now, what am I going to do, though? Oh, no, no, no. They're fighting again. Kill. Can you guys aim? That would be freaking great if you guys could aim. Do you want me to go get in there and show you how to do it? Because I might need to actually... Oh, no. Oh, no. It's 1%. It's 1%. Oh, he's dead. 
He's freaking dead. There's no way this Velociraptor isn't going to get him. It doesn't look like I failed the quest, though. So I thought I would fail the quest if I uh, didn't let that happen. Is he? Are they both tranquilized? Wait, what? He's at 5% health. Holy crap, it worked. I have no idea what happened there, but it freaking worked. Okay, so we're going to bring this guy over here. Bring this guy over here. The guest count dropped drastically, though, and we have a dead dinosaur. Damn it. So I think we failed it because the quest went away. And of course, a storm's incoming now. Can't you just let me deal with a fail and not have to deal with a storm? All right, mission failed. That's something we got to accept. I should have been uh, built another cage, but I didn't want to take the time to do it. I really should have, though. Uh, building is already damaged. We got a, a dead Dilophosaurus here, so we're going to get rid of him. Had a lot of deaths today, guys. That's, uh, th that's the first for the episode. A little bit more challenging now, as you can see. Uh, let's go to the get the ranger team out, fixing these things quicker than they hopefully break. What's broken right now? Uh, does it actually show? Okay, so it is my research center. All right, so we're going to go repair that. Let's make sure this storm isn't too crazy. Was this a tropical storm? I think this is probably another tropical storm. At least we've been getting lucky for storms, knock on wood. Uh, we have another building damage, but damaged buildings are not that big a deal. It's when the fences get damaged, that's when bad things happen. Okay, so we gotta repair that, we gotta repair that. Um, and then we got some really damaged stuff like this. Let's actually hire a second team. It's only gonna cost 50,000, so let's get two teams out here doing all the repairs. So we're gonna repair that, that, and I think that's pretty much all we needed because the other ones are already being repaired. Oh, great. My Corythosaurus is now attacking the fence. Maybe I should get another ranger team. I'm not really too worried about the Corythosaurus escaping, to be honest. Let's actually get my ACU helicopter to try and sedate him. Uh, maybe we can do that before he breaks out. He's not a very strong dinosaur, as you can see. But, oh, I spoke too soon. Now it's actually starting to break. Great. And can you guys knock him down before he breaks the damn gate? It's okay, Cory. It's okay. The storm's gone. You don't need to freak out. Oh, he's actually... Are you going to go repair that? Oh, hold on. Hold on. Drive vehicle. Repair the damn thing, too. Repair obstructed. Yeah, there's a dinosaur attacking it. Of course. Damn it. Holy crap. Um. Okay. Well, it's repaired. I almost killed myself, but it's repaired. The Cory seems to be doing better. Oh my god, what the hell was that? Okay, ACU, we, 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 don't, we don't need it anymore. We can, we can cancel that. Get, get rid of it. He's, he's good. He's good. I think. I hope. Wait. Maybe he's not good. What is your issue? Seriously. Oh, it's social. Uh, he's attacking the fence again. Okay, maybe I, maybe I should have kept this up. Where's the other Cory? Oh yeah, he died. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. I, f I forgot your friend died. I, I will make you a new friend. Just, just don't be so mad, please. Just up the comfort a little bit. Oh, God. Now, now, now the reserves are empty. Everything is happening now. All right, so we're going to re refill that. Uh, looks like these ones are still good. So, yeah, I, I, I need to address this Cory issue because he is not happy, as you can see. And he is not going to be happy until his social goes up. So with that in mind, I'm actually going to tranquilize him. Just let him sleep for a little bit because he's going to make issues until I get this other Cory out. So I may as well just let him relax a little bit and then we can drop him down when the other Cory's re ready to go. And now that we're having dino anger issues, let's uh, make sure they stay enclosed a little bit longer. So I would love to get to the next tier of the concrete numbers fences. Great. Oh, numbers are looking great. Thank you, man. I do appreciate it. Almost 100,000 per minute. Not too bad. So uh, we can do heavy steel at least. I was hoping to get to concrete, but what do we need for that? Research centers required four. So I'm assuming that means the fourth island. We can get concrete. So... Better to have heavy steel than light steel. Let's start researching that. I have no idea how much that costs, but we got lots of money right now. And we can upgrade our enclosures a little bit to allow less dino escapes. As much as you guys probably want to see that, I kind of want to do a legit playthrough of this game and not fail. Totally. Because you can do that. Uh, anyways, Corey's ready to be released, so let's release this guy. And let him meet his very angry friend. So we'll bring this guy over here and drop him in the middle, so hopefully he doesn't go to the gate. All right, new uh, Cory boy seems to be quite happy, as you can see, so that's good. His comfort, oh, it is dropping a little bit because of his socialness. So it's a very social dinosaur. Hopefully, now that he sees his friend, let's make sure this guy, come on, start up in that comfort. Yes, there we go. So he's going to be a little bit angry until he gets out of the red, but I think he should be okay once he gets some food and water in him as well. Uh, as you can see, still a little bit angry, but let's give him a second here and let him... 
enjoy himself. Here he goes again. Looking like he's going to attack it. He's thinking about it, but I think he's going to be in the blue beforehand. And I think he should be officially happy now. There we go. Back to the blue. <sighs> it's always nice when you can make a dinosaur happy. So both these guys should be okay now. The other one's actually back at 100%, as you can see. So, uh, yeah. We addressed that issue. We only killed three dinosaurs in this episode, guys. Not bad. Just kidding. This was really the first episode that we saw a little bit of a challenge, and that's always nice. So we weren't able to complete the quest, but uh, we did learn a lot today and uh, added a lot of new dinosaurs to our enclosure. We also increased the park by quite a bit. Our rating's still quite low, but uh, in the next episode, we should be on a good pathway to uh, being successful on this island, especially with those increased steel fences. Because once dinosaurs get out, your rating plummets. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Thanks so much for watching. We're going to wrap it up here. Now, if you guys have any suggestions on what you want to see, as always, I'm scouring the comments for all of your input. I do really appreciate it. Obviously, in the next episode, we'll be working on getting off this island and getting to the third one. Probably going to be here for a couple more episodes, though. So thanks so much for all your support, guys. Thanks for watching and liking, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank <laughs> you.